Hello guys, Robert One here, and as you can see, we have some Link monsters on the board. So, and also we are very high up on the camera right now. So, yeah, um, so what we're doing today guys is I'm going to teach you guys how to Link summon and some rulings and even give you some card ideas dependent on how the new Link summoning rules work. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to be doing that. So let's start off with how the new the mat is set out again. Um, as you can see, I've got a mat over my Dark Magician mat, the original mats, I might add. Um, so yes, so as you can see, we have the mat laid out here. Um, obviously, I don't have enough room on this table on this space, so I'm just using what I've got. Um, but as you can see. This is the mat. Now, uh, now the mat has essentially turned back to how it was originally, where we don't have pendulum skit zones here anymore, where between the graveyard and main deck, or field spell zone and extra deck. The pendulum zones have now moved to the spell and trap card zones down here. Now, these are still regular spell and trap card zones, but these spell and trap card zones can also be used as pendulum zones. So if you place a pendulum card here, it is counted as a spell, it is counted as a pendulum zone. But if you put a normal spell or trap card there, it's just a normal spell or trap card zone. Stopping you from being able to wavering eyes normal spell and trap card zones in these regular zones. Now, a additional to that, we have also been added two new, mo two new monster zones, um, which are called extra zones. And they will basically be, uh, let's just use, I should... Uh, I should have really gotten prepared for this. Um, I and they ba are basically here. Now these extra monster zones are for extra deck summons. So these two zones are for your both you and your opponent. Whichever one you take first or your opponent takes first, then belongs to them, and the other will become yours. So let's say we link summon into this zone. This zone will then become ours, enabling a being ours. Now, you can still extra deck summon stuff like synchros, um, stuff like synchros, XCs, synchros, XCs, and even fusions, but, but I don't have a fusion around me right now. Um, but you basically get the gist of it. I should have probably found some fusions before doing this, but it doesn't matter. Now, another thing about this is that we recently just got confirmed that when you are pendulum summoning from the extra deck, the pendulum monster has to go to the extra monster zone, essentially killing the pendulum mechanic. So let's make a demonstration. So we have two pen. Um, yeah, no, we won't use these two because they're, they're different scales. We have two pendulum scales. So we set them in our both spell and trap card zones. So, and we have um, a pendulum monster in our extra deck. So, we, because we have a scale 5 and a scale 2, we can Pendulum Summon Magical Abductor into our extra, deck, extra monster zone. Or into this extra monster zone if it's not occupied. Or if your opponent hasn't taken it already. So, this you are only allowed to Pendulum Summon monsters into the extra monster zone. Not into the main monster zone if they're from the extra deck. Now, if you're Pendulum Summoning from the hand, you are able to Pendulum Summon you are basically able to pendulum summon pendulum monsters into the main monster zone. So that is a big factor. So that is basically the ruling on that so far. Um, those are that is the basic ruling for that. So you cannot pendulum summon from your extra deck into your main monster zone. It has to go into the extra monster zone. Now, now that we've gotten that through, let's talk about <coughs> let's talk about link summoning in general. So, how do we link summon? Well, let me just get some random cards here. These will... Uh, these will do fine. So, let's say we have free Gareth on the field. Now, we can, to link summon, we can send all free Gareth to the graveyard, uh, if I can get them. To then link summon the link monster decode talker. 
So there we have summoned Link Summon Deco Talker. Now Deco Talker needs two free effect monsters to Link Summon into it. Well, two or more are Link, two or more effect monsters. So there are other ways to be able to Link Summon Deco Talker. I will now show you one of those ways. So let's say we have one Gareth on board, and and our little doggy here. I don't know its name off by heart, sadly, but you get the idea. So, because we have a Link 2 and a norm effect monster on the board, and they are both effect monsters, because we have a Link 2 monster, that can create, that can take up two of, two, uh, two for one monsters. So basically, you can send this monster, this Link monster, and Gareth to the graveyard to then Link Summon Deco Talker. So that is a way to summon a Link Summon using, with, uh, without, with using less monsters. So that's just one of the ways to links to both ways to link summon. So that is the basis of link summoning. Um, you can also use non-effect monsters if you were to say use. You can also use any type of monsters if you were to use our uh, Gaia the video talk video night I believe it's cool. Um, and if you use Gaia the video night, you can use three monsters. You can basically use two or more monsters the same. So you can use free Gareth, send the Gareth to the graveyard, summon D of it guy of the video night and that would how how that works so that is how you link summon bi the bit generic reasons of link summon now you can there are also ones that say that you specifically need normal monsters or types but those will be the same if you always have the types so that is how you would link summon now let's get into a few other things you, let's talk about the link monsters themselves so we have deco talk here now, Deco Talker is a 2300 attack point monster. It also has no level and no defense mode. Now, you can once Deco Talker is summoned, you cannot it cannot be changed to defense position. It's it can't be summoned in defense position, and it is has no defense points. You cannot book of moon this card. You cannot set this card by any other means or set it into defense mode. There are card there is one card that I can't remember its name that allows you to set it into attack position. But I'm not sure on the ruling on that. Konami would have to come out and tell us that themselves. Okay, so now that we've been through that, let's talk about what, how the Link summons change the game as a lot more. Now, Link, Xyz, Pendulum, and Fusion can actually be summoned into the main monster zones they, via Monster Reborn from the Graveyard or straight from the Extra Deck. And you're probably wondering how from the Extra Deck. Well, take notice of Deco Talker. Deco Talker has uh, has three arrows on it here. Here and here. Now these these now these arrows line all the way around it, but we only have we have three red ones on. Now wherever these arrows point to, is where you can summon extra deck monsters from. So say we have Deco Talker here. So we have got Deco Talker here. Now because of Deco Talker is here, we can we can essentially we can have well if I. Uh, <laughs> we can essentially special summon extra deck monsters into these two zones because the deco talker points to these two zones but on top of that your opponent can also summon from the extra deck because of there is an arrow pointing to your opponent's monster zone on top of deco talker so that is also a big decrease in deco talker's effect but there are also other ones other link monsters that just point down now there, this one obviously has a two, three arrows pointing out as well. It has one here, one here, and one here. So, if this is summoned into the link zone, you are then able to extract summon monsters into, say, this zone. But, if you can get Gaia, Gaia the Video Knight into a main monster zone, with, say, the new field spell that's coming out, because of it has two arrows pointing here, both sides, you can extract summon two monsters into these two zones. So, are you following? Because if you, because, now, obviously the Link Monster does not have to be into the e extra monster zone to be able to do this because it has two monster zones pointing out. So this is actually a very good way for us to be able to play the game. But, it, th there are very few ways to actually consistently link, consist consistently link summon now because of how they have dominated the pendulum mechanic out of the game. Um, but yeah. This this does make big differences in the game, and it will decide what will happen with the game. Now, I want to talk about something else that it will be pretty broken if true. So, 
Now, we obviously don't have the ruling for this yet, because Konami have not come out and said it to us. But, I am going to explain to you this anyway. So, say we have Gofu here. Now, if we special summon Gofu and use its effect to summon two tokens, with the two tokens, you can then summon you can summon the two tokens. Now, we have not got confirmation on this ruling, but if it works, we can send all three of these monsters to the graveyard, well, tokens off the board, and go through to the graveyard to then extra dex link summon out Gaia the Video Knight. Now, if this is true, this will be a great method of link summoning to the game. This will be a fast way to be able to get out your link monsters very quick. Now, obviously, we have a very weak link monster here, but and it doesn't really matter because there is another way to do this as well. Sadly, I don't have one on me right now, um, but I may be able to find one behind me. So just give me one second on that. I have. Now, let me just now let me get just two more tokens for you guys to show you what else this could work. Okay. Um. These tokens. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's try. It. Let me show you a different method. So let's say we have scapegoat. Now we could activate scapegoat, summon our four tokens. Now that we've got our four tokens, because these are all normal monsters, now obviously this only works if you can link some with tokens, but we have not got confirmation on that. So let's let me explain to you this combo. So we could send get rid of this token, special summon our spider here, our spider link monster that has an arrow pointing down into say this monster's uh, just anywhere. Now, because we've done this, we can link summon again the free tokens that we have left from Scapegoat to then link summon out Gaia the Video Knight. Now, with this, we have gained two monsters with a somewhat attack, with 1,000 and 2,600 attack, and we have been able now able to extract summon into these two zones. So, in conclusion, Scapegoat and Gofu, if they work with Link Summoning, are going to be very good cards. But guys, we will not know if this works until Konami comes out right out and says if these two methods work. But if they do work, then we will have a very broken play and be able to still keep the game to somewhat fast levels. But guys, if they don't do this, don't worry. It will. This is just a way to speed up the game if it works. It makes t it makes a very old card good again, and go through all right. So I would say if you have the time, pick up maybe a scapegoat or two just in case this actually works. Because if it does, it's going to be a very good combo at the start of the link summoning era. But yeah, guys. That is my video on how to link summon and what the changes on the mat are. As you can, let's just have a quick recap. Pendulum zones are now in the spell and trap card zones down here. Extra deck monster zones are here. And we have three, five link monsters that we have and we've discussed how to link summon. Now, obviously the, I'm going to tell you what the worst link monsters currently out are. The worst Link Monsters that we currently know about are this one and Decode Talker himself. Decode Talker being, being it points to one of your opponent's extra Drake Monster Zones, and this one being it only points to the sides, so if you can't actually summon this card into your main Monster Zone, it will be completely useless. Plus, it needs two Cyber-type monsters, so it can only be used in the main protagonist's deck so far. But yeah guys, that's essentially what the new summoning mechanic is, where the new placing on the mat is, and how to link summon. So yeah guys, if you want to see uh, more videos like this, telling me just how to, telling you guys how to play the game, how to do specific things in the game, um, like this video, comment on it, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, this has been Robert Bat one telling you guys how to link summon. S please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos as well. Press the notification button and tell me in the comment section below that you did. And I will see you guys next time because you'll get a shout out if you tell me in the comment section below. RoboBat1 is signing out. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on this video for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. 
and check out the links in the description for the previous video and the link to my Facebook page where you can see previous videos that I've posted there and any other information that I may have posted there. I hope to see you guys next time and thanks for watching.